Cherokee, African American. So your father is African American, a so-called black man. Okay, now, have you ever asked yourself what that means? Being African American, do you know where that comes from? Give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. Say it again? Okay, so Africa comes from a white man called Leo Scipio Africanus. Right, he was a Caucasian man that conquered Hannibal in the Second Punic War. And then he renamed the land after himself. That's why it's called Africa. Because before that, it was called the land of Ham. Right, of Ham. Right? Now, America comes from Marigold Vespucci. He came over here with Columbus. He was an Italian navigator. Right? He discovered America. Right? We, they they see this as a school. Now, two white men. So we call ourselves African Americans. Which means what? We are calling ourselves after two white men. Does that make any sense? Have you ever asked yourself that? What about you, bro? You ever asked yourself? Did you hear what I just said? So let me ask you, why have we not learned our nationality today? And why have we not learned that it's in the Bible? Look where we are. Say it again? Look where we are. Look where we are, okay. What'd you say, bro? Don't go to church, right? Never been to church? been a church, but I bet you they never told you your nationality, have they? No. Read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 4. Come on. And thou, even thyself, what does God say? Shall discontinue from thy heritage. God said you will discontinue from your heritage. Us as a black people, Hispanic people, Native American people, do not know our heritage. We have lost our heritage. We have no heritage. Our only heritage now is world star hip hop and twerk videos. That's all we got. And we have no heritage. What happened before we got over here on the, on the slave ship? What happened before that? Were we African? Because we think we're African, but we were not African. We're going to learn that. Read that. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, and verse 4. On. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage uh -huh. that I gave thee. That what? That I gave thee. So God gave us inheritance. He gave us inheritance. Give me that in Sirach 3. 17 and 11. Seven, Sirach 17 and 11. We have inheritance. We just don't know it because we've been so far removed. Because who taught us the Bible in slavery? Who? Y'all know slavery? Y'all heard of slavery, right? That's slavery, huh? Okay. Now, who was running over? Who was our, our slave master? Satan? Okay. So, who taught us the Bible? Okay. Now, is it their Bible? You sure? Okay. We're going to address that, too, because it's not their Bible. They just manipulated it. All right? We're going to get through that. Read that. The Book of Sirach. Chapter 17 and verse 11. Come on. Besides this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for inheritance. Read that again. Besides this, he gave them knowledge. He gave us knowledge. He gave us knowledge. Read. And the law of life. And the law of life. Now, what is the knowledge? The knowledge is the law of life. Well, let's get some more on that. Give me that in uh, Malachi. What is the knowledge according to God? Your pastor is going to tell you that the knowledge is of this world. That God loves everybody, right? That everybody can be saved, but will not prove it in the Bible. Read that. The book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 7. What is the knowledge that we are missing in our community? Read. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Your pastors are supposed to be teaching you knowledge. That's right. They are not teaching you knowledge. They are teaching you their own motivational speech. Right. What they had last night for dinner. Yeah. And then they shake, shake for a couple hours. Until they throw them at the mouth and fall out. And then y'all dance and forget about what, what y'all learned. Because y'all ain't learned nothing. What? Right. Read. And they should seek the law. The what? The law. The what? The law at his mouth. So now go back to, to, uh, to Sirach. So the knowledge is God's law. What? Right. The knowledge is God's law. God's laws is the only solution we have. We have yet to try the solution of God's law. We've tried everything else. We tried rioting. Peaceful protest. That don't work. Right. Right. Marching. It don't work. Right. right. The laws of God is the only solution for the black and Hispanic Amen. community. The That's Lord. right. Native Americans. Read. The book of Sirach, chapter 17 and verse 11. Come on. Besides this, he gave them knowledge uh -huh. and the law of life for inheritance. So he gave them knowledge. What is knowledge, brother? No. 
What is knowledge? We just read it. What is knowledge? Uh, the law. The law. The law of God. All enough. And the what? The law of life. And the law of life for inheritance. The laws of life for inheritance. Now give me Baruch 4 and 1. These are the laws of life. God told us how we are supposed to conduct ourselves right. if we want to live. Right. Or if we want to die. It's all written here. Read this. The book of Baruch, chapter 4 and verse 1. Come on. This is the book of the commandments of God. Read. And the law. And the what? And the law. Read. That endureth forever. This is the law that endureth forever. Now, have you heard in church when they said that the law's done away with, right? Everybody can come in and come as you are. But what does the Bible say? This is the book of the commandments of God. Read. And the law. That endureth forever. How long? Forever. All the commandments are done away with. Forever. Christ did away with the law. Forever. You see that? So are the laws still in effect today? Yes. Yes. Read. All they that keep it shall come to life. Those that want to live must be keeping God's law. Right. That's right. Read. But such as leave it. But if you decide that you don't want to keep God's laws and you want to leave God's laws and do your own thing in Sin City, read. Shall die. Shall what? Shall die. Why we keep getting shot in the street? Shall die. Because we don't keep God's laws. Right. That's why we keep getting shot down. By the cops, by our own people. Black on black crime is way worse than what these cops are doing. And you know why the cops are killing us? Because the most high is pissed off with us. Right. Right. Because we disobeyed his law. Right. Y'all understand that? Read that again. The book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 1. Trust me, it's going to get worse. Read. This is the book of the commandments of God. Read. And the law that endured forever. Read. All they that keep it shall come to life. All they that keep these laws will come to life. Read. But such as leave it shall die. But if you want, now give me the contradiction of the dead. Now, if it says they that keep it will come to life. Right? You are clearly living right now, right? You guys are all alive. But what kind of life is he talking about? Let's get that. Proverbs. Oh, what's this? You got it? Go on. The book of Proverbs, chapter 21 and verse 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding. Read it again. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding. The man that wandereth, that leaves God's understanding, which is God's laws. Read. Shall remain. In the congregation of the dead. We shall what? Remain in the congregation of the dead. If you reject God's laws, if you do not keep God's laws, you are dead. Right. You right. are walking zombies. That's what the zombies are. Those that aren't keeping God's laws. Right. right. It's talking about you. Right. All these movies about zombies is talking about you. Right. Y'all just don't know it. Because y'all y'all not spiritual men yet. Y'all still in the world. Read that again. The book of Proverbs, chapter 21 and verse 16. Come on. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding uh -huh. shall remain. You got a flyer? You got a flyer? You check that out, bro. Listen to this, bro. Shall remain in the congregation of the dead. So if you reject God's laws, you will die. Right. But if you want, give me a Matthew 22 and 16. So you understand that the understanding of God, the laws Righteous. of God, Righteous. is the knowledge. That's the knowledge you should be keeping. You got it? Thank you. 1916. 1916. Matthew 1916. Now, the biggest question we should have as people, how do we get to the kingdom of heaven? Right? We should all want to learn how to do that. The pastor will not give you that, that correct answer. He's going to lie and dance around it. He's going to say, all you got to do is love yourself. Love Jesus. Good. But have no idea what love Jesus means. Good. We don't touch that. Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 16. Come on. And behold, one came and said unto him. And my brother came up to Christ. Read. Good master. He said, good master. What, what good thing shall I do that I might have eternal life? He said, what should I do to get eternal life? How do I get to the kingdom of heaven? Don't you want to live forever? How do I live forever? How do I get eternal life? Read. And he said unto him. Why callest thou me good? Read. There is none good but one. And Christ said there is nobody good but what? But one. But one. Which is who? That is God. The Heavenly Father is the only good. He's the only good person. That's right. Nobody else. Read. But if thou will enter into enter into life. Read the B word again. But. But. It says but. If. If. 
Read it again. But if thou wilt enter into life, if you want the kingdom, if you want to live, read. Keep the commandment. Do what? Keep the commandment. Do what? Keep the commandment. God says you must keep God's commandment. This That's is the right. only solution to the black community. Boy. Now, what things do you see in the black community that really restricts us from being a nation? What do we do in our community? Give me some examples. Say it again. Gang bang. Give me a little bit. We gang bang. What else? Okay, we got murdered. Higher crime rate in our community. We kill each other. Right? Your question. Do you want to know about the Christian Israel? Okay, that's a good question. Are you going to stay for answer? Okay. You, you heard a question? She said, what about the, the Jews over there that are calling themselves Jews? Are they the real Jews? Am I getting that right? Okay. Now, I'm going to come back to you, to you and I'm going to address this. Because that's very pivotal. Okay? Now, give me Judah, uh, give me Hebrews 7, 14. Because the Messiah, right? Jesus the Christ. He's a Jew, right? Christ is a Jew. You don't know? Oh, you don't read the Bible? No? Okay. So, Jesus the Christ is a Jew. Okay? Read that. The book of Hebrews, chapter 7 and verse 14. But it is evident. It is clear there is evidence, read. That our Lord. That our Lord Jesus the Christ, the black Messiah, read. Spring out of Judah. He spring out of what? Of Judah. He sprang out of the tribe of Judah. It's right. like a nickname, right? So Jew comes from Judah. There was no such thing as Jewish, right? Jewish, ish means uh, wanting to be like the real Jew. Right. So them themselves is calling themselves not the real Jew. Right. Just by calling themselves Jewish, right? Now give me Jeremiah 14 and 2. Jeremiah chapter 14 and 2. Who are the real Jews? Yeah. Come on. The book of Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. Read. Judah mourneth. Judah, the Jews, read. Mourneth and the great thereof language. Read. They are black. What color are the Jews? They are black. What color are the Jews? They are black. Read. Unto the ground. God says the real Jews are black unto the ground. That's right. Now, I'm not literally black. My, my boots are black. My pants are black. It's referring to the melanin of their skin. Different shades of brown. That's we are different shades of brown. Right. Now get Adam. Genesis 2 and 7. Now the first man, Adam, he was also a so-called black man. And that's in the Bible. It's right there. They just don't read it. Give me that. The book of Genesis, chapter 2 and verse 7. Come on. And the Lord God formed man. Read. Out of the dust of the ground. So he said God formed man out of the dust of the ground. What is the dust of the ground? The dirt. The dirt. What color is the dirt? Different shades of brown. You get the dark and we get. Right. Now, give me uh, Luke 21 uh, about the, the Jerusalem. 21 and uh, 20. What is that? 21 and 20. 21 and 20. Now, the Bible is going to prophesy uh, in 70 AD. The Roman army conquered Jerusalem. Okay? And destroyed it. We're going to get that. It's in the Bible. Read that. The book of Luke, chapter 21 and verse 20. And yes. when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies. Read then know that the desolation thereof is not. He said, when you see Jerusalem compassed with armies, the Roman armies, know that your destruction is near. Judah, read. Then let them which are in Jerusalem flee to the mountains. And it says, let them which are in Jerusalem flee to the mountains. Now the nearest mountain range no, closest hey. to Israel Africa. is what? Uh, Africa. Uh, Africa. Uh, Africa, right? Now give me um, Matthews 2. Hold that, give me Matthews 2. And then I want Revelations 2 and 9. Who are the real Jews? And who are the Jews over there that are acting like Jews? Read. The book of Matthew, chapter 2 and verse 13. Come on. And when, and when they were departed, Read. behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Read. Saying, Arise and take the young child. Okay. And his mother. Read. And flee into Egypt. He said, Take the young child and his mother, talking about Jesus and Mary, and flee into Egypt. Now, the, the historical Egyptians, are they light-skinned people or dark-skinned people? Egyptians. They're dark-skinned. They're dark. They're the darkest people on earth. So if Christ was a so-called white man, 
why would he flee into Africa to hide? Right. Does that make any sense? No. Now give me Revelations 2 and 9. Who are those people calling themselves Jews today? Are they the real Jews? Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 9. Come on. I know thy works. God said he knows our works. Read. And tribulation. And what we go through. Read. And poverty. And he knows that we are impoverished. Not only physically, but mentally and spiritually. Us as a people. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. Read. But thou art rich. But what? But thou art rich. God said we are rich because everything in this Bible is according to us. It belongs right. to us. Right. That's right. The Israelites. That's the real right. Israelites. Right. Read. And I know the blasphemy. And I know the blasphemy. The blasphemy. The lies. Read. Of them. Of them which what? Which say they are Jews. I know the lies of them that say they are Jews. Which are who? Those over there calling themselves Jews. Read. And are not. God said they're what? And are not. God said they are not the real Jews. Read. But are the synagogue of Satan. Are the what? The synagogue of Satan. God That's says they are the synagogue of Satan. That's or it. the church of the devil. Right. right. They are not the real Jews. Do you understand? Yeah. You understand that? Yeah. You understand, brother? Who, who controls awesome. the Awesome. Now read that again. But who controls the bank? Revelation who chapter the 2 bank? and verse 9. Uh -huh. who the I know thy works. And tribulation and, and poverty, and but that are rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. He said, I know the lies of them which say they are Jews and they are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. So you should have asked yourself a question. If they aren't the real Jews, then who are? Right. You are. Right. That's right. You are the real Jews. We are the Jews. That's right. That's right. We are the Jews. Now, according to history, how did we as a people get over here? Say it again? Slave ship. Okay, on slave ship, right? Now did you know that that was in the Bible? Okay, give me Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Now, church. If you go to church, you go to church, brother? You go to church? Okay. Well, pastor has been lying to us. I was in church, though. You know you Okay, can... you're raising a Christian it's church? That is an adult church person. That's fine. That's fine. We don't, you don't need to be in there anyway, bro. I believe the Israelites. I'm Okay, do you know your ears are white? I believe the Israelites. I believe the Israelites. I believe the Israelites. Okay. All right, well, I want you to listen. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. Now, you guys have to understand that this is the only book of prophecy on the earth. The Bible is the true book of prophecy. Right. right. This was written over 3,500 years ago. Right. Let's see if these uh, events came to pass. Read. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto what? All Israel. No, the whole world. All Israel. So he says, I'm speaking to the Israelites. That's the book of Deuteronomy alone is written to the Israelites. Right. Right? right? Now give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Believe it or not, brothers, there is a reason why we are in the condition that we are in today. There was a specific reason why we keep getting gunned down by our own people and by these cops. Right. There was a reason why we have high murder rate in our communities. STD rate, right? Last hired, first fire. Read. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. He said it's going to happen in the future if you do not listen to my voice and obey my laws. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. All his commandments, all his commandments, read. And his statutes, read, which I command thee this day. No, he asked us to do it. Which I command thee this day. He gave us a suggestion. Which I command thee this day. So he commanded us, he gave us a command. That's an order. You either follow it or there's consequences, right? Read. That all these curses, read, shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now he said, if you do not obey my laws, curses would come upon your people and overtake your people. Read. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Read it again. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. Brothers, are we not cursed in the city? Yeah. How? Yes. How? Yeah. We killing each other and okay. they killing us. Okay, so we killing each other and they killing us. How else, brother? With the blue. How are we cursed in the city? We get criticized for our skin color. Say it again? We get criticized no. by just our skin color. We get criticized for our skin color. What else? Go. Say it again? Go. Drugs. Drugs. Go. Go. That's right. Hot. Hot drugs. Right? We, we deal. Right? We, that's why we end up in these jails anyway and end up doing it again. We deal, we end up in jail. It's a system. That's right. It's a system because truly we ain't know no better. That's all we knew, some of us. Right?
foolish, brother. Some but guess what? Foolish. The prophets are back. Right. That's right. right. All right, read this. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. It's like cursed shall thou be in the city and in the field. What field? The cotton field. Right. The sugar cane field. Right. The tobacco field. Right. We will be cursed picking that cotton next to our brothers and our sisters, right. our children that are toddlers picking cotton. Right. That is a curse. Read. Curse shall thy basket. Curse shall be thy basket in thy store. And he said, curse shall be thy basket in thy store. Us as a black people, Native Americans and Hispanics, we try to start any business and always fail. Right. Because we don't support each other. Right. And it's because we're cursed. You understand that? Now give me 46, the inside. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 46. Come on. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. Read it again. And they and shall what? be and they shall be upon thee. For a sign. It says, and they shall be upon thee for a sign. What is the day that he's talking about here? What is going to be upon the Israelites for the for a sign? The what? No, curses. The curses. Right. Those are going to be a sign to identify who are the real Israelites. That's, That's right. why the real Jews today. By these curses. Read. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. And for what? For a sign. Read. And for a wonder. Read. And upon thy seed forever. And what? And upon thy seed. Upon thy seed, thy children read forever. How long? Forever. Which means what? The curses are still in effect. Right. That's Which right. means what? We can identify who the Israelites are. Read. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness. But, but, but because we did not want to serve God with joyfulness and gladness of heart. We have to understand, this Bible was only for us. That's right. We are the only nation of people that have a God. But we are so damn rebellious that we reject Him. That's why we ended up here. And if you read the Bible, there's numerous accounts of us rejecting His laws. It's a damn shame that He has so much mercy on us. Right. Read. Therefore, verse 47, read. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. Read. For the abundance of all things. For the what? For the abundance of all things. He says for the abundance. Hold on, hold on. Don't, don't leave yet, brother. No, don't leave. Not yet. All right, you guys, all right, cool, cool. Don't, don't leave yet. Read that again. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. Read. For the abundance of all things. For the abundance of all things. What does that mean, brother? Abundance of all things. Yeah. Everything reaped on this earth. That's correct. Damn. Everything. Damn. Everything was given to us. Everything is ours. That's us, right. You were given a whole earth. That's right. right. And dominion over it. But we messed up. Read. Therefore, shalt thou, shalt thou serve thine enemy. So because you want to disobey God's laws, because you want to go from being kings and running this thing, I'm going to put you in slavery. And I will cause you to do what? Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemy. Serve thy what? Thine enemy! Thy friends! Thine enemy! Your best friend! Thine enemy! Let me ask you something. Do, do friends put friends in slavery? No! They do not! What does God call them? Read! Thine enemy! God calls them your enemies! Your That's enemies! Right. That's one of the reasons why we we so destroyed today! Because we're trying to assimilate! When God said, those are your enemies! You have to know who your enemies are! Right. Let them walk up in your church and right. shoot up everybody! Right. Yeah. Give me a uh, read on. Which the Lord shall sin against thee. Read it again. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. Read. Which the Lord, Which the Lord read. shall sin against thee. Who sent us into slavery? Oh, hey, my, I forget, my the Lord. What God did. Because we disobeyed his law. Now go to 49. Uh, 48. Our enemies in hate. Jeremy. Book of verse 48. Listen to brothers, don't, don't worry about that. Yeah. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee. 48, brother. Therefore, thou shalt serve thine enemies. Because you disobey God's laws, you're going to do what? Serve thine enemies. You will serve your enemies, read. Which the Lord shall sin against thee. Read. And hunger. If you want food, if you want food, if you want to eat, you must serve your enemies. All these other nations around us, we must serve them. And we are serving them today. We serve them on the cotton field, and we serve them today. Read. And in thirst. Read it again. And in thirst. If we want water, we gotta serve our enemies. We don't own any of these companies as a people, do we? Right. We don't know we don't own any of the water distilleries. We don't own no water. It used to be ours. 
But now they sell it to us. Read. And the nakedness. And what? And the nakedness. If we want clothes on our back, we must serve the enemy. Read. And in what? Of all things. Anything that you want. If you want a driver's license, you want to be born, you want to go to school, you want to fly. Read. And he. No, read it again. And in what? Of all things. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron. It says you will serve your enemies. You will serve your enemies for whatever you want, right? With anything that you want, you must serve them. Read it again. And in what? Of all things. Read. And he. And that enemy will do what? Shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. He will do what? Put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. What happened when we got over here off the slave ships? Read. Let me say it again. We were chained. We were chained. What does the Bible say? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Come on. Until he hath destroyed thee. He says he will put a yoke of iron on your neck. Until what? Until he hath destroyed Until thee. Until he has destroyed thee. These yokes of iron on our necks. On our necks. That's biblically and historically accurate. Now, do we have them on today? No. Why? Because we are spiritually dead. Right. See it, uh, read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. And, and he shall put a yoke of iron read, upon thy neck read, until he hath destroyed thee. We are mentally destroyed as a people. That's, right. that's why when some of us were free from slavery, we wanted to go back to the plantation. Right. We were mentally destroyed already. So Abe Lincoln said, okay, let's let him go. What they gonna do? Yeah, that's why we got Stockholm Syndrome now. That's why we still cling to our slave masters today, which is most of our problem. Y'all go to, give me 68. Give me 68. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Stop. It says, the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now, we just walk out of Egypt, okay? He said we are going to go into Egypt again. What does Egypt mean, brother? No, we're not, we're not Egyptians. But we were enslaved in Egypt, okay? Now, Moses parted the Red Sea, we walked out of Egypt, right? Now, the Mosai said he's going to bring us into Egypt again. Did we ever go back into that land? No. So what does Egypt mean? You don't know? Let's find out. The Bible will, will define all these words. Give me that. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. Read. I am the Lord thy God, Read. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God, which have brought you out of the what? Out of the land of Egypt. Out of the land of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage. What does Egypt mean? Out of the house of bondage. What does Egypt mean, brother? Out of the house of bondage. House of bondage, which is another word for what? Slavery. Slavery. Now go back to Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Let's put the pieces together. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 68. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. He said, I will bring you, because you disobey my laws, I'm going to bring you into slavery again. How? With ships. How? With ships. How? With ships. How did we get over here? Slave ships. Most of your pastors will never read that in your church. Right. This has been in this Bible ever since you was born. Right. Your grandma has the same Bible in her house. But you will, people do not read it. Your pastors will refuse to read oh, it. Hell, because they don't want you to know who you are. They don't want you to know who you are. You understand? Read. By the way, where are? I spake unto thee. Now, when we got off them ships, what happened? What transpired once we got off them ships, sisters? We were slaves. We were slaves? What else? What happened? We were stripped of our culture. Stripped of our culture. Tough one. Yes. What, what about you, sis? What'd you say? When we got off the slave ships, what happened to us? You don't know? Damn. Okay, we were slaves. Okay. Now, read that. Thou shalt see it no more again. It says you shall see it no more again. Once you got over here in America, you're not going to see it anymore again. Now, what was the it you did not see ever as a nation of people? Nope. Our own kingdom. Our own kingdom, our own land. Where is our land? Are we African?
African? No, we are not African. They just call us African because of our dark skin. The right. true Africans, they don't even want us. Right. right. Mandela would have brought us back years ago if we was African. Right. We not African. Right. You know? Give me um, give me the Bible dictionary. What, what are we in? Give me the Bible dictionary. Somebody find it, please. I'll read that. And there, and there, when you got off the ship, ye shall be sold. Sorry, what? You shall be sold unto your enemy. You shall be sold unto your enemies. Were we not sold? On auction box? We were sold. Read. For bondmen and bond women. For what? For bondmen and bond women. It's a for slave men and slave women. You got a flyer, bro? You got a flyer? No, no. I can't. Get a flyer. Where's the flyer? Thank you, brother. We're going to get you another one. Get the room. Where's the damn flyer? The Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary. Read. Ham, the youngest son of Noah. Read. Born probably about 96 years before the flood. Read. And one of eight persons to live through the flood. Come on. He became the progenitor. He became the progenitor. The progenitor, what does that mean, brother? What does progenitor mean? Sister, what does progenitor mean? I don't know. It means the forefather. Okay, read. Of the dark races. Of the dark races. Now, if you stop there, everyone that's dark skin comes from here. But let's read on. Not the Negro. Not the what? Not the Negro. Not the what? Not the Negro. He says those that come from him are not the Negroes. That's what do they call us here? Negroes. Read. But Egyptians. But what? But Egyptians. The Hamites are the Egyptians, which are Africans. Read. Ethiopians. The Ethiopians are Africans. Read. Libyans. Read. And Canaanites. And Canaanites, which are Africans. We are not Africans. Right. That's right. God said that. Now go back to um, the Bible. Read this. Hurry up. Deuteronomy 28, 68. Come on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. He will bring us into Egypt again with ships. Read. By the way whereof I speak unto thee. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Sold unto your enemies. For bond men and bond women. And bond women, slave men and slave women. Did that not happen? That yeah. happened, right? Read. And no man shall buy you. And no man has been able to save us since. We have not been able to be saved. The only one that's going to save us is Jesus, the black Messiah. That's yes. right. My brother, right. understand? I'm Eldon Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.